Just before I begin, I've got two pieces of housekeeping. Skip to this timestamp here if you want to avoid it. First of all, I want to say holy macaroni, thank you a thousand times, 50,000 times. I've hit my, what was like my biggest 2019 goal, which was to get 50,000 subscribers. I started off the year with 23,000. We have more than doubled. It's bananas and I want to say to everyone, whether you've been subscribed for a day or whether you've been subscribed since the very beginning, thank you so much for wanting to subscribe, wanting to see my videos. It still baffles me, but in a good way. And thank you, just thank you so, so, so much. It means, it just means so much achieving a goal that you actually set for yourself especially since this year has not been great and continues to be utter garbage up until ver this very day and probably going forward it's garbage. Um, but the other piece of housekeeping is if you are a Patreon, stay tuned to the end because I'm announcing our next, our latest Patreon only um, giveaway winner. If you're not a Patreon, don't worry about it. I will be doing a big giveaway very soon over on my Instagram so just make sure you're following it. And with that, Let's, let's start. I feel the warmth of your skin. I feel the touch of your hand. Love you with all of my heart. Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel or if it is your very first time here, hi, my name is Missa. I'm 28, I'm from Edinburgh, which is in Scotland, not England. Don't get it mixed up. Welcome, join, subscribe and go follow me on Instagram. As you can see by the title today I've got a very exciting video and it fits in so well with our appreciating drugstore time, appreciating drugstore makeup time. Darn it, I had a thing. Appreciating drugstore makeup. Because I'm sick of expensive makeup and this makes me feel good. So yeah, today I'm going to be playing with and testing, doing a demonstration, swatching and giving you my thoughts on all three of the new Makeup Obsession Times Ready. I don't know if that's how you pronounce your name. I'm really sorry palettes. All of these palettes are £10 each. There are two eyeshadow palettes and there is a highlighter palette. They are, I said they were £10. I don't usually do this but I did combine both palettes on my eyes today so I'm using both in the tutorial portion but I just, I wanted to play with different shades from each one and I didn't want to do two videos so I thought just do it, just do it, just combine them for once. I'll show you these up close and personal in a second when we move on to the swatches but I have to take this top off because it's real tight and I won't be able to swatch and it's probably going to be quite long because I've got three palettes to swatch so I will leave timestamps in the description or on screen right now so if you want to just jump past the swatches or to a particular palette or to the tutorial or to my final thoughts I would skip past a lot of me yammering because it's boring. So I think I should quit fanning around and if you want to see all of that jazz that I just described then please just do keep on watching. Just discovered this is fairly stretchy which is great I can just keep it on and not have to get changed which would just annoy me. So I'm gonna start off by swatching the brighter palette so this one is the daydream palette again 16 shades if I didn't say that probably didn't say that, it's got a mirror. And this is the much brighter palette. Another point of these palettes is that you can actually pop out the individual shades. So you could, if you did buy two, but find you only use a certain few shades, you could combine them into one palette. But I find that very confusing, so I wouldn't do that, just for like being able to use them again. But yeah, you can pop them out should you like to do that. Let me just dim the lights, let's get sexy. It's probably still too dark, but that's what the palette looks like. You can look up better images online if you want. But that's what it looks like, and I'm just going to start swatching it. I'm going to go roll by roll. I'm not going to try and make them look beautiful. They're just going to come out how they come out. So, yeah, let's jump into the swatches. First up, we have Dream Chaser. Vermilion. Storyteller, Q, K, E, W, no idea if that's how you pronounce it. First metallic we have Rain Dance, and then we have Lily, Avalon, 
and love spell okay then we have pixie that's a metallic i wonder how this one will swatch we have happy tears please don't be fooled by that i am wearing that all over my eyelids and it's glorious naughty nymph Gosh, this is naughty. Maxim. Is that not a naughty magazine? Then we've got Snow White. Yellow Rose. Bumblebee. And Hitchhiker. So that is the first palette that is what is that called what is it what is it what's it called daydream feels quite like a daydream from looking at the swatches oh they're quite wobbly right i'm going to show you up close but i need to deepen it and then i'll deepen it even further so yeah it didn't try and make them look nice it's just one swatch but why are 10 pounds drugstore i mean look at that silver oh let me go there we go. That swatched very well. Biggest disappointment is that blue, that sparkly blue, which is the main reason I kept the palette. However, it is on my eyelids, so yeah, don't be fooled by swatches. Sometimes they're helpful, sometimes they're not. But that's very pretty. I like that. I like that a lot. I was gonna not use this and give it away. Would have regretted that. Now we're going to move on to Dusk. Let me show you this up a bit closer. So this is the more grungy palette and I kind of wanted to keep it for this colour here alone to be quite honest and it's very pretty. I don't know, maybe that silver backing is going to make it hard to see the shades. But again, you can look it up online if you want to see better pictures. We're here for the swatches. Okay, let us begin. This one is Angel, spelt with two N's, so it's probably something like an in-joke or just an in-word, but I don't know what it means. Then we have Crowned, then we've got Treehouse, Grace, Firefly, Splendid, Princess, Moths, Lothlorien, Pergola, is that green I wanted to keep? Rose Matter, as in Rose Matter, but with D's instead of T's. Rosie Lee, like Rosalie, but it's Rosie Lee. Otter Baby. It's gonna sound bad, but it's not a bad word. It is a hockey puck. This shade is called puck. Like a hockey puck. Children. Sorcery. Oh, that shade's much prettier in person. Oh, let's see how this swatches. Eclipse. It's black. That's some, some grunge in there. Let me show you. An overall view. Lots more metallics in this one, I feel. I'm probably wrong. Often am, but there's a lot at least at the top. And that black swatched really well for drugstore. Let's go down a notch. There you go. I swatched that one like quite high up on the crook, so it doesn't look that great, but I'm wearing that in the inner corner. It's very pretty. I'm quite impressed, I've got to say. So again, this is now the Moonlight palette. This is the double-sided highlighter palette. So on one side, it's got a quote. It says, hey angels, I hope you'll be obsessed with this palette as much as I am. I can't wait for you to play around and un unleash your inner glowing queen. And then she signed it and we've got four shades here. I would call this, would I call this the lighter side? Hold on. Yeah, this is the lighter side, I would say. It'd be quite hard to see just because the silver kind of reflects off the camera. 
on my lights. There you go, if I tip it down you can kind of see. And then, if you open it, the... Oh! No, look! So that side's actually called Moonlight, this side's called Sunlight. I didn't realise there are two different names for each side. Okay, so this side has the mirror, got a new tripod, very happy with it. And then this is, the, I would say it's slightly darker shades. I'm thinking of using this as a shimmery blush and that makes me happy. These are really interesting to look at. I feel like they almost look like the formula from the ABH Dream Glow Kits. Like they look quite chunky, quite glittery. Interesting. I'm excited to swatch them all. I, I used two shades today, so I am wearing two different shades. Anyway, so I guess I'll swatch the sunlight side first, I'll just go left to right. So first up we've got Treasure Hunt. This is one that I used today, this is called My Sunshine. These feel a lot more moist than the eyeshadows do. Then we have Midsummer's Day. And Supernatural, yeah I'm definitely going to use that as a blush. And now we're gonna do Moonlight. Another shade I use, this is Fairy Lights. Look at that. Dancing Elves. And we've got Nocturnal. This, this picked up really chunky on my finger and I just put the same amount of pressure on this. This is more like golden with pink. I'll try and show you that better. And then the last one, oh, we've got Full Moon, baby. So not a massive array of shades. Like, I feel like these two look quite similar and then these look quite similar and these look quite similar, but eight shades. Gonna deepen us up. There you go, probably getting better vision of them. Definitely going to use that one as a blush. And there we go. So that is all three palettes swatched. Now we're going to jump into, I was going to give you some opinions, I'm not. Now we're going to jump into how I got these eyes here and then I'll give my final opinion, but yeah, if you want to see the eyes, keep watching. So as usual, we're jumping in with concealer. I'm using the L'Oreal one, the infallible one. Just decided to change things up today. Don't know why. So first shade is Otter Baby. This is from the Dusk palette. And all my brushes will be on screen as usual. And I keep my eyes wide open if you are new around here, just so that the shadow goes above my crease. And then I'm also going to fill in that outer corner as well. Then using my favourite brush, this is the Morphe M506, you all need it. Especially if you've got small eyes, I'm just going to blind the edges of this just so it makes it easier. For the next shade, which is Rose Matter which is spelled with D's instead of T's and I don't know why but it sounds weird when I say it and I'm going to use this to start blending out that brown the brown I just wanted it for the depth and to kind of map out my shape but this is going to be a predominantly like purpley pink look so this does get covered up but method to the madness blends out really easily with this shade though and then from the other palette I'm using the shade Lily which is just a much lighter version, it's also a bit more pastel against that Rose Matter shade so it's kind of covering it up but I always go dark to light and then go back and re-deepen where necessary so just flopping that around. I love this colour, this is called Rosie Lee and it's perfect for blending out these purpley pink tones, oh my goodness it's probably one of my favourite shades in the palette and it's so kind of boring but perfect for for the job so I'm just again flopping that on circular motions I kind of I mean I probably shouldn't have gone in with so much of this shade but 
I did it on the other eye so I had to copy it. This is Eclipse and for a drugstore black I'm blown away like this could be a high-end black if if it was a, a blind test it could be high-end to be quite honest. So I'm putting on my outer corner and then just filling it in. Shouldn't have used so much. <laughs> And yeah, back in with Rose Matter, and I spent a long time on this. I've obviously cut it down a lot. Probably spent about 10 minutes trying to blend out this black. It I used too much and yeah. We all we all learn from our mistakes. But I need I wanted the black for the depth. It was just very hard to blend out. Um but I, I'm not really complaining about that because I'm more shocked that the black is so good. But with, with a lot of finagling it kind of worked and then back in with Lily just kind of doing the same thing going from dark to light again now and then I've mixed Rose Madder and Rosie Lee on the brush like I've just dipped into both because I didn't want to just use Rosie Lee because I was finding it was too light so by kind of mixing with my brush it worked perfectly and then I'm just going to use a clean fluffy brush in a second and just blend the edges this Morphe one and it just it worked well worked well And then I decided to go back on the wee bit of Lily just to try and get rid of my harsh black line. It works alright. I'm not trying to poo poo these palettes because I really think they're probably, they're great. I don't want to give you my final thoughts yet but I'm just saying the black is quite hard to blend out. Anyway back in with my ABH, not back in, in with my ABH primer I'm going to cut my crease. I should have probably used a drugstore one, but I completely forgot we're appreciating drugstore makeup at the moment. <laughs> anyway, oh wow, okay this shade, happy tears. Shut up cars outside. This is the most beautiful shade in the world, in the drugstore, I'm telling you. So when it's swatched, it's swatched like poo. I'm using it wet and I'm using it over a wet base and my lord, does this not look beautiful? Does it not? Like tell me. I just deepened the brightness a little bit there to try and show you it off a little bit better. It is incredible. It is everything. Look at it. Look at it with your eyes, please. So then I am taking Dream Chaser. I'm not convinced this is a, a matte, but I think it is, but I'm not quite convinced. So I'm using this to just start my blend to the outer corner. Um, it's a very pigmented purple, very pigmented actually, I was quite shocked. And I'm picking up Happy Tears on that brush again, but I'm not re-wetting it or anything, and I'm just dragging it really lightly onto that purple to try and start the blending. I feel like in person this looks way more blended, like genuinely, I'm not just saying that, but on camera it comes across a little stark for some reason. And then in with Rose Madder, and I'm just going to deepen up that outer corner and use the black in a second as well. Just, I just really do feel like it looked better in person. Just, just believe me, please. Rose Meta on my M506 just to get that very outer corner. Help help me blend. I need the, need all the help I can get with this black. So that is the eyes. I'm gonna go away, throw on all my makeup, I will come back and use the highlighters. I think that blue is sick. Like sick. Not much fallout either, quite impressive. So I'm going in with my sunshine first. This is the second lightest one, I would say. And 
right now I'm using it a little bit lightly because I was scared and then I was like nah just go gung ho so really gonna pack it on it's so stunning I don't have the most textured skin and I don't feel like this highlights it more than any other highlighter I've got but I mean a highlighter highlights so it's gonna it's gonna show everything good and bad I do like the formula I do think it is really pretty I just feel like this shade gives me a little bit of a cast which is why I go in with the second one and also I just wanted to test the second one anyway but gosh it is really pretty I don't know if you can see that kind of grey line on my cheeks so then I'm going to have my fairy lights on top which is like more icy way more icy way 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 more icy and my cast is only getting worse but I always feel like when I put my blush on it looks better so I'm not that bothered I just think they're so glowy but nobody really needs eight highlighters so just get the makeup obsession single ones so we're moving on to under eyes so i'm going in with pergola i love and hate the word pergola and this is just going to go all the way along the bottom i didn't want to do anything crazy because the top's quite interesting and it doesn't need to be too dramatic so just going in with Pergola and then Bumblebee, which is actually a really bright yellow, and I wasn't expecting it to be so bright. Very nice though. Blends out the shade Perfection. And then you know me, just going to deepen up my outer corner. I think it's called Otter Baby, the deep brown. Otter Baby, yeah. Smack that on a little. And then just a little bit of Eclipse as well, just to meet up with the top, very, very dark, very stark outer corner. <laughs> Probably should have gone off camera and blended for about half an hour, but I didn't want to. And Angel, spelt with two N's. I'm going to wet it because I want the most from it. There's a lot of inner corner highlight options, which I like. And this will show up beautiful on light skin or deep skin. Look at it. It's beautiful. And then this just adds a wee bit more interest. This is Ellie Girl shade Fresh. It's shockingly good for £5. Wow, I chose a really bad day to film this in my bedroom. It's so noisy outside. So that's the eyes. I'm going to go throw on lashes and a lip. And we'll be right back for the final look. So I'm going to shut up now and just, just enjoy my face if you want to. Look at that blue though. Holy smokes. Look, I'm just going to say it, I am really impressed. Two videos ago, I used a Makeup Revolution Times Roxaurus Colour Burst Palette, and I should have said something at the end of it, but I completely forgot because I was just in like tutorial mode, not review mode. I didn't like that palette very much. I did not think it was that good. A lot of people were saying, oh, I'm adding it to my basket now, and I was like, oh, no, hold on, no, wait, wait. <laughs> I don't think it's that good. <laughs> don't buy one just because I use it. Like it, the day before I filmed that video, I played with both of these eyeshadow palettes. It was a disaster of a look as it always is, often is, not always, often is, but these were such good quality and I thought I need to save them for just a standalone video. These are literally 50 times better than that 
Roxaurus color burst palette like that's going straight in my declutter bin don't care about it don't want to look at it again and usually makeup revolution collabs are they're much better versions of their palettes like I said, I've never tried makeup obsession palettes before, so I wasn't sure what to expect. However, I was hoping for good things because this this girl, this woman, she has a lot going for her. She's very well known, she's well respected, she's very nice. And I don't think she would have put her name on something that was substandard and she really blooming as in. Like, I think that blue, I just feel like that blue on my lids does not look drugstore. I mean, it doesn't look drugstore at all, at all. Used wet and over a tacky base. Holy mackerel, does that shade not just blow my mind. Like the swatch is not that great. And when I first swatched it, I was like, oh, I shouldn't have swatched this palette. I'm not gonna like it. This is great. My only criticism, to be quite honest with you, is that they're a little bit messy, they're just, those kind of mattes that have a lot of kick up when you dip your brush in there is a lot of kick up a lot of fallout but there's not a lot of fallout on your face which is good but it's just one of those things and the mattes do feel quite dry i feel like just use them wet you will get over any issues that you're having i really like this palette like it's got some very beautiful shades in it i don't have a lime green like this in my collection i don't feel I only have high-end versions of this kind of blue, so it's so good to have one that is now affordable. This other palette I feel like is way more appropriate for this time of year. As I said, I was like, who are you speaking to, Melissa? You're you, why are you saying that? Just, I mean, a lot of people wear kind of dark, more murky colors at this time of year, because it's winter and that's just what we do. I'm sure you can probably see it's a little messy. Same thing with the other one. Mattes are a little kick up -y. Metallics are a little dry feeling. All of these things don't really matter. The mattes go on very well, very smooth. The black was so pigmented, I struggled to blend it out as you probably saw. But I think in the end, the look has come together pretty well. I'm, I'm happy with it. I would say definitely get these, like definitely buy these. If the color stories really appeal to you, then I would buy one or buy two. I think they're so good, they're 10 pounds. That's 32 shades for 20 pounds. It's great. I love that Makeup Revolution, I know it's Makeup Obsession, but it's the whole brand, keep their palettes, their um, collab palettes so affordable. I think the highlighter palette is take or leave if this super appeals to you or if you don't have that many highlighters, pick it up. I don't think it's hugely special and the only reason i'm saying that because whilst it looks beautiful on like i think i've got no complaints about it going on the application doesn't make my texture look that bad like it looks stunning i feel like steph toms is gonna love this like it's great my only criticism is is that i don't feel like it goes dark enough for really deep skin I just don't think it's dark enough. I might be wrong, I don't have deep skin, so what would I know? But I feel like there does need to be a couple of much deeper shades in here to really cater pro properly. But the shades that I can use, I'm really happy with. Like I can use this one, I can use this as a blush, I can get away with that on days where I'm a bit more tanned, and I can use that one. So I can use four, I could probably use the pink as well, actually, like the shifty pink. No. I mean that one, the shifty pink, yeah. So I can probably wear five. If you're very, very fair, you can probably only wear one. If you're my kind of complexion or deeper, you can probably wear them all. And if you are really deep skinned, maybe one or two. But that is, I just think highlight palettes are getting redundant now. So are contour palettes. So many brands have them. Everybody's bought them. If they already have one, you don't need more and you only buy more. If you're a makeup addict and I'm rambling, all I wanna say is they're good. And if you want to buy them, I would personally recommend. So that's it for me today. I am going to shut up because I've been doing a lot of talking. I've been sitting here for many, many hours. What is happening to me? I'm now filming late at night. It's nine o'clock. What is that? So yeah, that is all for me today. Let me know what you think. Have you bought these? Are you gonna? Are you not? Let me know down in the comments. I do reply. I try to reply to every single comment. I realized recently a lot go into the pending, or what's it called? P 
potentially spam folder when they're not so if you're like you never respond to me I'm really sorry I didn't even realize that existed so I try and respond to every single comment give it a big thumbs up because it super massively helps me out and gets more people to my channel and subscribe because it's just a polite thing to do and the internet is a really not nice place I want to say a huge massive thank you to my patreon thank you guys so much for supporting me on patreon um, I actually got a little bit of criticism really, um, recently just from one person who said how dare you spend your Patreon money on Botox. I don't spend my Patreon money on Botox. I got that gifted to me. If you are interested in kind of what I'm going to spend my Patreon money on, first of all it is going on private medical appointments so like osteopath, rheumatologist, things like that because the NHS waiting lists are ridiculous. And also I'm saving up to buy a new camera. I want to buy like a really good high quality camera and a microphone. They are expensive. So that is what I'm saving up the money for. But thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. Just know you can stop at any time. I It's completely up to you. Um, but I really, really appreciate it. Also, if you want to sign up, the link is down below in the description box. And you get early access to videos, Patreon only videos and giveaways basically when I have money. Segwaying beautifully into giveaways, if you have a look right beside me here on the screen, we're gonna just spin the wheel. Spin the wheel, I'll probably speed it up because it was one minute of spinning. Well, the video was one minute long. I'm just spinning the wheel, spinning the wheel. Oh, we have a winner! So well done, congratulations to Rebecca Green. You have won our Patreon only giveaway. Please just send me an email, Rebecca. My email is down below in the description box or just contact me through Patreon and we will get your giveaway prize sent out to you. Thank you so much for supporting me. Okay, I'm finally done talking. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope I will catch you on the fl fl flip side. I'm not drunk, <laughs> I promise. Bye.